Barely had Palbad escaped from the troubles on the Shell Island when fate once again threw him into the paws of adventure. After a brief period of peaceful sailing, his ship crashed against a massive, mysterious rock protruding from the water. A rush of adrenaline forced him into immediate action, and as he stepped ashore, he realized he had landed on a stony island. Everything around him was covered in gray dust, as if nature itself had been frozen in a grip of icy stone. Palbad looked around, and his gaze was drawn to a statue of a dog, seeming to stare at him with deep, unspoken sorrow. The frozen expression on the dog's muzzle suggested it had once been full of life. As Palbad moved, he noticed that the stone dog also moved. Though its muzzle remained still, it spoke in a muffled and sorrowful voice. Please, save us, it said, and Palbad felt a chill running through his fur. How can I help you? he asked, not fully understanding what had happened. The stone dog began to tell the story of the kingdom in which he had lived. King Hakim and Queen Shari had ruled wisely, and their love was so great that every poor inhabitant felt safe and happy. King Hakim and Queen Shari's love was legendary, a bond so deep and pure that it seemed to glow like a soft, warm light throughout the entire kingdom. From the moment they met, they were inseparable, bound by a love that others could only dream of. They spent every day together, walking through the lush gardens of Palgrada, sharing their thoughts, hopes, and dreams, as if their hearts beat in perfect harmony. Hakim would often pause during royal duties just to look at Shari, his eyes filled with admiration and gratitude. To him, she was more than just a queen. She was his best friend, his confidant, and his soul's other half. The gentle king, though wise and composed, would always let his guard down in her presence, sharing his truest self. Shari, in turn, adored him not only as her king, but as the very reason her heart felt so full. Their love was so profound that it didn't just unite them, it brought joy and peace to all of Palgrada. The kingdom blossomed under their rule, as if the land itself was enchanted by their affection. But their bond wasn't just one of happiness, it was one of strength and loyalty. When Hakim faced challenges as a ruler, Shari stood by his side, offering wisdom and unwavering support. Together, they were invincible, two halves of a powerful whole. The very idea of them being apart seemed unthinkable to their subjects, as though such a love was as essential to the kingdom as the sun and rain were to the fields. But one day, the king fell ill with a mysterious disease from which he could not recover. Heartbroken, Queen Shari wept so long that her tears caused a flood in the kingdom. Each day, she sank deeper into despair. When Hakim passed, it was as if a part of Shari's soul had been lost. She wandered the empty palace halls, hearing his laughter echo in the rooms they once filled with joy. She could no longer find peace or purpose, as if her heart had turned hollow without him. Queen Shari was known throughout the world for her incredible beauty and kind heart, and her kingdom, Palgrada, flourished with wealth and prosperity. After the good King Hakim passed away, kings from distant lands traveled to Palgrada, bringing rich gifts and hoping to win the queen's favor and poor in marriage. But Shari, filled with grief, rejected the advances of every ruler who tried to win her heart, unable to fill the void left by her beloved. Soon, word of her beauty and goodness reached King Azhar a cruel ruler with a piercing gaze and a heavy heart. He was known for his ego and vanity, and his heart knew neither love nor compassion. Azhar decided he would win Shari, even if by force, and arrived in her kingdom with lavish gifts. Yet the queen, aware of his reputation, rejected him without hesitation. Humiliated and furious, Azhar would not accept defeat. He ordered his court sorcerer to cast a spell that turned Shari's heart to cold stone. From that moment, Queen Shari became icy and unreachable, 
and her kingdom fell into a state of stony stillness. The inhabitants of Pograda were covered in stone dust, transforming into statues, and the kingdom was engulfed in a silence and sorrow that seemed to last forever. As Polbad wandered through this time-frozen land, he began to feel an odd chill. To his horror, he discovered that his own body was slowly turning to stone. His ears were already stiff and cold. He realized that by approaching the queen, he risked the same fate as all the kingdom's inhabitants. But in the moment, he dared to speak to the petrified queen and told her he knew a way to ease her pain. His body returned to its former state. He remembered he had something that could help the sorrowful queen, a memory shell he had once received from his fur irons on Shell Island. It was a magical shell that allowed one to hear the memories of their dearest loved ones. He approached the stony queen and gently handed her the shell, saying, listen to him once more and maybe you'll find peace. The queen pressed the shell to her ear and her cold, stony heart began to tremble. Soon, tiny cracks appeared on its surface and with a loud crack, it shattered into thousands of pieces. The stone dust fell to the ground and the queen returned to her original form, revived by memories of her beloved king. As if by a magic paw touch, the entire kingdom came back to life. The stone dogs transformed back into their lively, happy selves. Porbad, watching the scene, smiled with relief. He was ready to return to his ship, but with gratitude, he accepted a new piece of gear from the queen. A medallion etched with the symbol of memory, a reminder that true strength lies in love and loyalty. As soon as he set sail again, barely a day on the ocean passed before Palbad stumbled into his next ferventure. From the depths of the sea, a monstrous creature emerged, its massive form looming like a dark, rising wave. Its scales gleamed with an eerie glow, and a low rumble echoed through the air, sending chills down the crew's spines. What perils lie ahead? Will Palbad's courage and newfound strength be enough to face this fearsome sea creature? Find out in the next episode, where Palbad and his loyal crew will brave the open ocean against an unstoppable force from the deep. <laughs>